Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Kingdom. Now, I wanted to tell you something before I start this video because obviously you've read the title. We're gonna be delving back into the Cookie Odyssey. However, there was a really weird glitch that happened that ear nearly scared me when at like the start of this day because like I'm recording this at, like 6 p.m. But like nearly at like well nearly what 10 a.m. I like wanted to record, but there was a really weird glitch that happened like just before 10 a.m. The game was lagging so bad. To the point where like, it wasn't like being choppy, it was like whenever I touch something on Google Play Games, you know, being the thing that I play on, it just delayed. Like if I were to tap this right now, imagine if it's just like, how, what's the best way to describe this? Imagine if I like, uh, I don't know, if I wanted to tap on this hot air balloon thing, watch, like, this is not happening right now, but this is just your creation. Watch what happens. It would be like that long. It would be that long. I'm not even joking. It would take that long to load and it legitimately scared me. Now, luckily for some reason, it fixed itself. I have no idea how. I don't know if I uninstalled something or got rid of something, but after 10 p.m., which is ironically when rewards reset, it just got better. So let's just pray that never happens ever. So with that being said, let's finally get into the Cookie Odyssey stuff because, well, we were really close to the end. And I think it's only going to take like two more videos to get through the rest of chapter one for the Cookie Odyssey, which after I get through the Cookie Odyssey, I have no idea what to do next. Uh, maybe we can take care of that uh, one uh, winter story. I don't know, but with that being said, I will be tre uh, trying to read comments from a video, uh, the most chaotic boss battle from the skirmish raids, where if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read out, uh, to read on the videos, then feel free to do so. It can be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you for sticking around. Recently, the short with the milk cookie stuff has been getting so much much traction like a lot it's gotten the subs to boost a lot which is surprising i'm so happy for it so if you're new here then welcome to the channel anyway with that being said uh i guess what i do know is in the crow's nest inn we i think that's the next guaranteed place to go but we can visit everywhere else like for example there's white lily's greenhouse which takes the least amount so let's go through here and then read a few comments quiet as always as if the wind never reaches this place whispering here amidst the flowers it felt like only the two of us existed in the whole wide world. These moments will never return. Will never return. Oh, trust me, they will return. Just wait for the uh for the beastie story, which already happened, but not in this point, not in this point of time in in regards to when this ha uh Cookie Odyssey story is happening. Anyway, but let's get back to it. There's a couple comments here. Like for example, Alicia Hung left a comment saying the best way to beat the ringmaster is to use teams that are super effective against it. And you list down a bunch of teams like Team One uh, using cookies that are inflicted with defense debuffs and Linzer. Oh, interesting. Well, I probably won't read the, read the whole list because that might take a little bit and it's kind of complex. But dude, honestly, thank you for so much for the recommendation. That is pretty nice for you. And also, Drills left a comment. It's DR33LZ, so I think it's Drill saying, uh, Question, what cookie is your main in oven break, as in the cookie you almost always play as if you can? Uh, it's hard because nowadays, in regards to, like, choosing your cookies, it's kind of like, you kind of got to go with the meta. Like, nowadays, obviously, you have to go with, like, Sauna Egg Cookie for the Simmering Syrup Sauna event, or Tangerine Hong Hulu. But if I want to want, go for one that I usually always pick, it's either DJ Cookie or Electric Eel. And especially Electric Eel for the speed, and DJ Cookie just for, you know, the style. But that's just me. Anyway, I guess let's take a visit to, uh, I guess maybe the Magic Academy? Let's take a gander at what's going on over there. <laughs> Whenever I come through these doors, I can't help but remember my own days at the Academy. Oh, we're vis I just realized we're visiting every single place is Peter Vanilla, because if you missed it, uh, the very first cutscene that played right when this happened was uh, Peter Vanilla getting out of bed and wanting to visit everything. Oh, that's actually really cute. There was nothing more exciting than exploring dusty ancient tombs together in an empty lecture hall. Now, this memory feels almost as ancient. White Lily Cookie, so much has changed. Even these memories, they feel almost wrong. Now that both of us are on the opposite sides, it is time to leave the memories in the past where they belong is in, and just move on. Dark Enchantress Cookie must be stopped. I will not allow her to hurt my friends once again. Well, it's kind of sad that you kind of have to leave those memories in the past, but hey, it's, we're looking forward to a newer future and a brighter future. Anything happening in the plaza, 13? Let's check it out. You wake up early every morning to sweep the place. Do you ever get tired of this? Not at all. When I see the floor shining clean, I feel happy. If you ever need your place swept, let me know. I'll make sure not to miss a single crow feather. 
I see there is no such thing as too early when it comes to tidying up. All right, but where'd your hat go? Pure vanilla cookie. You look much better today. Much better? You see, I was worried about you. Just yesterday, you seemed so troubled because of the council. You also gotta appreciate how the little crow bird is also looking worried. I'm grateful for that. The council hasn't been easy so far. But we will find a solution, I'm sure, my friends. Your help with the banquet and the visitors was invaluable. And everyone seems to have enjoyed the service. You don't know how thankful I am. We were happy to help. It was great to be part of something so important. He's right. Not so long ago, we couldn't have imagined anything like that. But thanks to you, we can live happily in this new place. And I will make sure this kingdom becomes an even better place. I will do all possible. If you got Custard as, a th uh, as your king, honestly, y'all got this in the bag. It's pretty easy. Anyway, with that being said, more comments for you, which I forgot to heart your comment. I do apologize for that. Anyway, Shafir Raganasik got left a comment saying, Hey, Hyper Himes, if you can make a zoo in your Kikyuran kingdom, what would you put in it? Cheeseburgs, perhaps? I bet Custard Kiki will like riding a Kiki horse. That'd actually be pretty adorable, but I think I'd just film with a bunch of different k counts because there's a lot of k count decorations, and maybe that might be an upcoming project. Maybe you just gave me a stroke of idea. Maybe you just gave me a stroke of genius that might be for the future. I don't know. That'll be for later. Right now we're doing with the Kiki Odyssey and by later it might be like three videos later. I don't know. But Undercover Elixir also loved a comment saying, I can't believe bro used canonical powerful cookies instead of funny piano cookie man who's OP everywhere and better at DPS somehow. You think I know anything about how cookies work? I don't know if one cookie is going to be better than another or one cookie who I think is going to be niche for this one update is going to be super important for a later one as well. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot when it comes to this stuff. Also, Kimberly Crockett's left a comment saying, Hyper, I just got an idea. What if the way we obtain the fallen heroes is by defeating them in battle? That'd be pretty unique, but they would have to be some tough battles if they're going to have to give us those cookies for free. And all it takes is just a battle? Really? That'd be so easy. But also, it's kind of like the, the, like those like Pokemon raids where like you beat the Pokemon and then after beating them, you get them. That'd actually be pretty unique, though. I don't know. Greetings. May I come in? The Consul is not to be disturbed at the moment. He has to prepare thoroughly for today's Council session. I'm afraid I cannot allow you to pass. I understand. In fact, I did not seek to meet Consul Clotted Cream Cookie. A good stroll around the Kingdom has always helped me put my thoughts in order. Tell me, Financier Cookie. I trust you are a Paladin of the Republic. You are correct. I have been graced with Celestial Light's glory. The light that cleanses the world of the darkness and brings warmth and goodness instead. I follow the light's guidance. I must confess, I couldn't help but sense the familiar warmth of the light coming from you. It, it, doesn't it make sense why? From me? <laughs> I also wield the magic of the light. Indeed, the Vanilla Kingdom and the Krem Republic share many common traits. If not for the Dark Flower War, we could have shared the same home now. So far, I've heard nothing but good about the Republic. I expect a glorious future for your home, knowing that it is in the good hands of paladins who resemble the light itself. Please, keep guiding the cookies onto the right path. Thank you for your kind words, pure vanilla cookie. Your company alone honors me greatly. You know the best thing that you could ever see when in a video game? It's a character who doesn't smile much and they end up smiling. That's one of the best things you can see within a game. All right, I think I'll go through one more cutscene, then we'll read through a comic question of the day, and then, and then a couple more comments, because right now, this feels like the stroll episode, just taking everything in, just seeing what we can deal with. So, as a, let's do a classic old Holly, Hollyberry treatment. <laughs> and for... Why the plug does the... Okay, hold on. Why does this cutscene not have voice acting, but the ones for uh, Black Raisin Cookie and Clotted Cream do? Y you would kind of expect the ancient cookies to have, like, the voice acting here. Like, for the rest of the story, you know? Unless if, unless if it's just Wildberry in here, I don't know. Anyway, I came to see Hollyberry Cookie. The Queen Mother has left her chambers. I understand. Busy as always. I can pass your words to Her Majesty when she returns. No need. There was nothing important. Many different thoughts visit me these days. I only want to share some of them with my friend before the council meeting. Then I will arrange a meeting right away. No, no, pl please. We will see each other soon enough. Instead, I'm glad I've had an opportunity to speak with you, Wildberry Cookie. It was a pleasure. I must admit, at first I thought you and Hollyberry Cookie could not be more different. Yet now I understand that both of you have something in common. You value trust above all. I still have much to learn. Hollyberry Cookie's role in this council is crucial. She wouldn't have left her place easily knowing there was no Cookie, whom she could trust entire- <laughs> and trust to her affairs. 
She trusts you wholeheartedly, my friend. Thank you. Oh, I must have taken up too much time. Uh, I will take my leave now. See you at the council. Farewell. See, look, he's, he smiled too. That's, that's the best thing you can see in the game. Character who doesn't smile ends up smiling. Are you kidding me? That's great. Anyway, also, does the Waffle Lot hanger not have anything? Oh, it's, oh, it's got more than white lily in the house. No, I did not. Wait. Oh. Oh, what's that? Uh, what does it say? Uh, maybe you can listen in when Pia Vanilla Cookie's teaching restoration magic. But, but we're Pia Vanilla Cookie right now. I swear the point of views of these stories change frequently. Went from Ginger Brave to a point where now Pia Vanilla. And it's probably going to change up for all I know. It's going to be like some more side characters who are going to get the limelight. We'll just wait for that to happen. Anyway, for a common question of the day, which this is actually a perfect episode for me to bring this up. So it's hard, hard for me to say this, but who is your favorite ancient cookie cohort? I know that sounds weird, but let's, let's say, for example, you have pure vanilla cookie, and with pure vanilla cookie, it's usually black raisin cookie. With holly berry cookie, it's usually wild berry cookie. With dark cacao cookie, it's usually crunchy chip cookie. When uh, golden cheese cookie, it's usually burnt cheese cookie. And with go uh, white lily cookie, it should be silver bell, which usually they come in groups, so I think pure, uh, pure vanilla have ginger brave and black raisin. Uh, holly berry is wild berry and... I guess holly berry and raspberry, uh, dark cacao, crunchy chip, and uh, caramel arrow. Uh, white lily would be silver bell and mercurial night. And lastly, golden cheese is burnt cheese and mozzarella. So you can either put them up in groups or singularly, but uh, be sure to tell me down in the comments which one's your favorite. Because I personally, I think personality wise, I like uh, the difference between both mozzarella and burnt cheese. Because burnt cheese is like the serious one, mozzarella is just like, a, oh, I got this one. She knows what she's doing. Though at the same time, I think I do also like the, you know, the, the flipping dignity of, you know, the dark cacao ones, you know, flipping caramel arrow and crunchy chip. Because bunks to affogato, screw them. But. Anyway, all of them are really just, you really can't go wrong with any of them, in my personal opinion. But of course, before I actually go into the next one, which we're going to go ahead and check out the Waffle Bot Hanger, uh, we'll read a few more comments. Like, there's a long list from Smart and Spiral, which I'll only read a few. One saying, oh, it's a chaotic boss. The greatest boss around circus-themed, Shadow Moe Kiki's watching. Don't worry, they're, they're, if they're watching me, they can get this middle finger. Anyway, even though, even though I don't have fingers. Anyway, your other comment says, one of the good cookies I use, Rebel Cookie and Mercurial Knight for Beasties. Hard mode and three star- She's hard mode? I'm getting the hiccups so much that's actually shocking. <clears throat> oh my gosh. What's wrong with me? Help me! Alright, I'm better now. Anyway, the last comment reaching me says, Boom, I just watched the new Megamind film and series trailer, and yeah, it's mad in my opinion. I saw that, it's not the same. I know for a fact, it's never gonna live up to the hype of the first movie, let's be honest. I'm just being honest about that. Anyway, Waffle Bot Hanger, here we go. P please? I beg of you? There we go. Why so many visitors these days? You just won't stop coming, will you? Huh, greetings. I don't even remember when I saw so many different cookies last time. Annoying! Uh, perhaps all these cookies care about you too much to leave you alone? What's that now? I cannot tell what happens here when you awaken in this kingdom, but I know for certain that before Ginger Brave and his comp uh, companions arrived, you must have been all alone and I'm sorry for this realization came to me too late. Well, it was boring. It was all my fault. But I thank you for staying in the Vanilla Kingdom until the very end. And you've helped so much rebuilding it. I'm eternally grateful for you, Strawberry Crepe Cookie. What, 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 what's this all about? I, I didn't do it just for your praise or anyone else's. I only do what I want. But I liked what you said. You may come again sometimes. Hm, of course. Our, our world could use more thank yous. Hm, my nose feels itchy. Hey, you said you were grateful. Then do me a favor, will you? You see, I was reassembling my robots and I ran out of parts. Can you bring me more? Thanks. Ah, uh, just using us for items. What is it this time? Acorn lamps? Don't worry, we got you hooked up with acorn lamps. We got them all set up right here. For some reason, that doesn't play a cutscene after, which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Hopefully, they'll be happy with it. Uh, let's go to, uh, should it, Solarium? You know, well, Dark Egg House Tent should, uh, does that take more? Yeah, it does, but Crow's Nest Inn is probably the final place where everyone's probably going to meet up. Maybe. I don't know, but let's take a gander in here. Let's see what's up. Hey. How many times do I have to tell you? You must stay silent here. It's nice to see your wolves well fed and healthy. Huh? Lord Pure Vanilla Cookie. How can I be of help? Stop it. Hey, stop Stop looking at me. Please don't mind me. I was in the middle of my walk and decided to come. His Majesty's in his tent. Shall I, shall I call for him? No, no need, Darky Cow Cookie. He, he, uh, Darky Cow Cookie must be very busy preparing for the council session. We shall talk at the council. Uh, at once. He's gone. 
Hey, what did I tell you? You shouldn't interrupt a little pre vanilla, pre -vanilla cookie, got it? <laughs> Be glad that pure vanilla cookie didn't get too angry with you. Some cookies hate it when you lick them. Um, but he, he didn't hate it at all. I thought pure vanilla cookie was one of those softies from the warm lands. So he's much stronger than he seems. Who could have known? <laughs> you. It doesn't mean you can lick him again. You understand? I'm watching you. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me getting licked by a cream wolf is like the equivalent of getting bitten? If that's the case, let, lick, let them lick me all day because I want to be known for being strong. <laughs> oh, that sounds funny, but also very cute. Anyway, with that being said, let's go through, I guess, the Solarium of Unity. Then we'll read some more comments and then we'll end off on the Crowsberry Nest Inn because we've made a good amount of progress in this. Uh, Solarium of Unity. Let's see what's up here. Ginger Brave. I didn't expect to meet you in the Solarium of Unity. He was just hungry for food. Like, look at all that food back there. I was looking at the stained glass. And eating the food. You think I can't see you behind those eyes? I know what you've been doing. And thinking about a few things. You too. Something about this sugar glass always puts me in a contemplative mood. This stained glass was created to celebrate the unity of the five friends and the peace we had always strived to protect. I recall that when it was created, our time together was always filled with happiness and merry smiles. Yet now, I cannot help but see what we did wrong. We were too careless to think of the true meaning of unity, to feel the real weight of the crown. Back then, at the village where we first met, I wished to escape from the life I once knew. I simply did not realize what I could and what I had to do. I was trying to hide from the truth behind my blindfold. But you... You helped me wake up from my illusions. I did? You showed me that my place was here, in this kingdom. You demonstrated that courage and perseverance can achieve so much. I'd like you to know that I am immeasurably more grateful to you than I have ever expressed in words. And I still learn a lot from you. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you saying that I showed you the way? <laughs> whoa! I also have lots of things to thank you for, Pure Vanilla Cookie. <laughs> Just listen to us. Indeed, we have chosen the right name for this hall. Solarium of Unity? I guess that makes sense. Well, anyway, there's only one more area that we can go into being the Crow's Nest Inn, and then we'll read a few more comments, then end the video, and then that'll be that. So, Mortal Wolf Deer actually left a few comments, one saying, My, 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 burnt cheese, kiss queen, and... Yo, yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> You know, the comment says, I'm done with the first episode of Master Mode. Well, I'm proud of you for that one. And uh, the last comment I'll read from you actually says, Finally, I have 300,000 crystals. Yuppie. I remember when I was like that, and then I wanted to try and build up to a million crystals, and look where I am at now. A greedy person who refuses to spend stuff. A comment from Arian Funhouse says, Even though the skirmish raids are difficult, the ring master boss is super cool. They are pretty cool, though I think they could use a few fixes, in my opinion. I don't know. But also, also, there's a couple comments from AGamer360. One saying, and kick around, I'm a break. I'm in a raid run grind, getting SSS rank with all the sweet titles. Ooh, proud of you for that one. That's pretty cool. Another comment you left is, common question of the day, potato soup, carrot soup, tomato soup, any kinds of soup, really. Now I'm getting hot. I had soup for dinner tonight. Tonight. Depending on where, where you're watching this. I don't know, but it was great. And also... You're, yeah, I guess you'll have one more comment, which says, It may be due to the fact that I don't like the whole Jester Evil Clowns thing, that I hate Shadow Milk. Then again, he's really overrated. I just love my little elder gods being defeated by lesser beings. It's a reason why I prefer Long End Dragon to the Five Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I guess it does make sense, but I feel, I've all, I've always, like, learned from, like, others that, like, you can't have someone who's too overpowered. You need to make sure that they have a flaw or, like, a reasoning for what they did. So maybe with, like, everyone else, they can have, like, a flaw. Or, like, soon their reasonings are going to be exposed, which, I don't know, for... Pleb the Jester Shadow Milk Plub's reasoning, it doesn't seem very exposed yet, but maybe soon, soon enough we'll be able to learn. Anyway, this is going to be the last thing we're looking at. Could you remind me why we have to write the report at the inn? Uh, so you don't go thirsty? Why? Because here is where I have my morning espresso. Tr okay, yeah, well, he, he has a point. Coffee is a must when you need to focus. Did you know? And it leads down a path of addiction. And you need me here too? Correct me if I'm wrong. But aren't we both responsible for this mission? We were asked to submit a detailed report. Naturally, your input is also required. Well, Espresso, you can deal with a written report. I think Madeline's gonna deal with an oral report over there. But you may only reply when I specifically request an answer. You can do this much, can you not? Please say no. <sighs> How dull. Oh, good. They have newspapers over there. Hmm, let's see. Huh? It's 
handwritten. The Vanillian Observer number 15. An extraordinary number of visitors have arrived to witness the historic council. I've been dreaming of visiting the Vanilla Kingdom for so long, confessed one of the pilgrims, struggling to hold back tears during the interview. A cookie identified as flunked pilgrim claims to have fainted of strong excitement. The patient was safely transported to the Crow's Nest Inn. In the interview to the Vanillian Observer, the pilgrim expressed frustration and being unable to meet pure vanilla cookie. Does that mean the gnome is in here right now if they were safely transported to the Crow's Nest Inn? Learn modern magic at the Magic Academy. I've never seen fresh grapes until pure vanilla cookie taught me how to make them. And then turned them into raisins, probably. An insider told the Vanillian Observer that the students are secretly looking into ways to dry the fresh grapes. <laughs> oh, what a time to be alive. Good morning. Oh, espresso cookie. Madeline cookie. I didn't expect to meet you here. Good morning, pure vanilla cookie. Enjoying your cup of morning coffee? Correct. My expectations of this place weren't high. But what do you know? The coffee is acceptable. By Good, even. By the way, I need to say, shoutouts to the chair for looking like an open lid, because I think that's supposed to look like an open can lid, and also the giant barrel, which its tap is a bendy straw. I swear the designs of this are peak. I like the local coffee, too. They certainly know their craft here at the inn. By the way, didn't you say you came from the Creme Republic? What can you tell me about your homeland? Oh, it's a splendid place! Elegant towers in the shape of seashells rise so high they almost seem to pierce the very sky. Ships glide over the clear waters and soar over the clouds. Happy laughter never stops. I am telling you, our glorious republic is the best in the world. <laughs> Just like every other nation, the Creme Republic has both positive as well as negative aspects. For example, 90% uh, of our population are very stuck up. Pray and tell. The person over to the right. When I'm retired, I would much rather prefer to reside in a quiet place like this. Of course, life has been far from quiet here as of late. Hmm. You wish to move to the Vanilla Kingdom? And why am I hearing about this now? <laughs> Our kingdom is quiet and peaceful indeed. Well, now that I think about it, um, it is rather nice here. And the locals have been kind to us. I suppose... I could call the Vanilla Kingdom home at some point. <laughs> in before, we have all the espresso Madeline shippers typing their three-paragraph essay as to why this quote right here proves that Madeline wants to actually stay with espresso and not for the kingdom. Oh, that's it. What a way to end that. I guess I could do this last cutscene. Mm. Oh, no, should we? Probably. Okay, we'll read a few... How, well, how long is the video going? Uh, 23 minutes. Sheesh. Uh... Maybe for this time, we actually will just go through this very last cut. I guess it also depends on how far we'll go. I don't know. I think I'll leave it off as a cliffhanger, because we just said hello to every single thing, and I guess, what, is Pierre Vanilla Cookie going back to take a nap? I don't know. But we'll, we'll save that for the next episode, because it feels like everything is slow, slowly but surely, like, climaxing to, like, a really big point, and it's going to be pretty exciting. So, with that being said, I'm going to read a few more comments left. One coming from uh, Sonic Gamer 360 saying, Here's the thing I find interesting. Ginger Brave is fully aware the cookies were meant to be eaten, or at least that's what the evil witch is intended. Yet somehow, whenever someone brings it up, he plays dumb and denies it. Kind of makes you wonder what Devsus has planned for Ginger Brave in the story. He's probably going to have some sort of like a confronting yourself thing. I don't know. And the last comment I'll read comes from uh, Princey the First saying, Common question. Uh, the day that. Wait, the only. Wait, the only that tastes like Maggie, but only with juice, along with a bunch of toppings that aren't too related with sweetness. Things like pepper, meat, lettuce, and such. Well, okay, but what do you mean the only? Is that like a type of soup, the only? I don't know. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker on content, and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kicker on YouTube stuff for absolutely free, a link to my Discord server called the Hyphenies Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Ko-fi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see on this YouTube channel. But above all else... I really hope I also said to subscribe and hit the bell, but above all else, I will I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.